Hi there everybody, this is Jimsies and welcome to my 22 week pregnancy vlog. Um, everything's going pretty sweet so far. Um, there's a couple of new symptoms that have just shown up in the last couple weeks. Um, sorry if it's a bit TMI, but uh, here we go. I don't really know how to describe or explain it, but um, my groin kind of pelvic region is feeling quite tender. Um, especially if I've, if I've been sitting down or standing up for a long period of time. Um, I'm guessing that's, uh, you know, all the muscles and bones, ligaments, whatever, stretching a bit in preparation for the birth. I do remember this happening in my first pregnancy, but I felt, I feel like it happened a bit later on, so maybe it's just my body knows the drill all this time and is just getting it done sooner, I don't know, but... Yeah, it's just feeling a bit tender and sore. Um, what else? Uh, feeling like I need to pee a bit more frequently as well. Um, due to, I guess, the baby's getting a bit heavier. And um, that extra weight on my bladder is making me need to go a little bit more frequently during the day. Um, not waking me up at night, which is great. Um, also, a little bit of constipation, a little bit of indigestion, it's fine, um, it's just a bit uncomfortable, but yeah, it's no big deal. Um, also, I feel like I'm molting. <laughs> I don't know, um, I feel like I still have a decent amount of hair, um, but just I've just kind of noticed in my hairbrush I need to be clearing it out and cleaning it. Um, kind of every other day, whereas usually it'd be more like every week or so. So, I don't know. It's coming out in the hairbrush. I feel like it's more noticeable in the hairbrush than usual. But I can't really tell in my hair just looking at it. I don't know. Um, yeah. So those are my new symptoms. Um, some old ones still hanging around. My lower back is painful. <laughs> Um, it does feel better if I have gone for a walk that day, but not if I have done too much exercise that day. Like, too much walking around um, doesn't help, but just the right amount doing um, a little walk, um, I think, does help. But it doesn't go away completely, so, yeah. Um, okay, let's see how baby's doing in my bounty book. So, 22 weeks. That's too far. Your baby measures about 19 centimeters. Can now hear your voice. If you talk, read, or sing to your baby. The skeleton is developing rapidly as bone forming cells increase their activity. So that accounts for a bit of weight as well. Um, taste buds have started to form on the tongue. Fetus can touch as brain and nerve endings are forming. Baby boys' testes have begun to descend from the abdomen. Baby girls' uterus and ovaries are in place and vagina is developed. I feel the movements happening a lot more um, every day, um, a lot more often. Um, they've changed from being little like flutters to being proper like jabs and proper like rolling feelings. So yeah, you can definitely feel it. Um, but they're not quite strong enough for anyone else to feel just yet. I think that'll happen sort of within the next month or so. Um, but yeah, it's always great to feel baby moving around in there. Without further ado, I promised a gender reveal in the previous vlog. So here we go. <laughs> so did you guess boy or girl? Because we are having a... Oh, my partner drew this um, on this little chalkboard when he found out <laughs> as a nice little way to reveal to our friends. Um, I think it's quite cute. So, yeah, it's a girl. <laughs> really exciting, very happy about it. Um, I, I did suspect it was a girl um, way back in the beginning, really, um, with the morning sickness being so bad and my skin being not so great um, uh, and especially my suspicions were confirmed 
um, at the 13 week scan when we saw um, that baby was quite a bit smaller than um, Connor was. So it made me really suspect that it was a girl, but yeah, so um, we found out at the 20 week scan um, when the sonographer asked if we wanted to find out. I looked at my partner expecting a no, but he was like, yeah, okay, why not? And there we go. So it's a girl. We had told everyone that we didn't find out, um, that we were keeping it a surprise and everything. But um, we waited until my mother's uh, my mother's wedding on Valentine's Day, and um, we just kind of got her alone for a second. My, my partner he was like, "Oh yeah, I have to go and get a shotgun." And Mum's like, "Why? What are you talking about?" He goes, "Cause I'm having a daughter." <laughs> so yeah, that was that was funny. <laughs> um, yeah, so he's definitely come around to it he's excited about having a girl I'm excited about having a girl I like I said I definitely had a strong feeling that it was a girl right at the beginning just because of the real bad morning sickness and stuff I'm not the type of person that's like you know put all your eggs in one basket kind of thing so I don't feel like it's a hundred percent sure until she's born and you know you see it <laughs> you know kind of thing um sonographers are usually right you know most of the time but there are a couple of times where they do get it wrong so i'm not gonna go out and just buy a whole lot of pink stuff and you know that kind of thing of course i'm gonna get some pink stuff because um, we have quite a lot of boy stuff anyway so um yeah i'm just not gonna go crazy <laughs> um with the pink so let me know in the comments down below how you revealed the gender of your baby to your friends and family. Um, or did you keep it a secret? You know, um, did you not find out? Uh, we didn't find out with our firstborn, like I've said in previous vlogs. Um, and it's really exciting not knowing as well. Um, and it's kind of fun, everyone guessing the gender and this and that. But knowing is nice too. Um, you know, kind of preparing yourself um, for what you're going to get, I guess in a way um yeah uh hit subscribe while you're down there to follow me on this pregnancy journey and i'll see you in the next vlog uh week 24 all righties take care thank you so much for watching bye for now